This week, we're struggling to please both people... I need to think about it. ..and animals. Would cats be happy? No. As always, we're looking for pedigree property... Um, obviously, I haven't seen upstairs yet. Upstairs? Bungalow. <laughs> ..in an epic search across three counties. If this was back in Berkshire, it would be out of budget. But one of us is heading for the doghouse. That's not a huge gun. I'm feeling a little bit emotional at the moment. And unless we get everyone into new homes... Could this be the one? Go and see the estate agent and make an offer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all end up parking. What <laughs> up? This week, we're stretching across Surrey, Hampshire and Wiltshire. We're hoping to take two couples unhappy with their homes to their happy place. Where's your happy place, Phil? Actually, don't ask that. God forbid that I knew. Beautiful England stood next to you. Oh, Such a charmer. Moving swiftly on, Hampshire is where most of our three county search will take place, and it's a very sought-after county. The average price of a semi-detached house here is almost £270,000. That's a hundred grand over the national average. On top of which, the annual property price increase over our search area is also higher than the national average. So it's easy to get scared in this market. Alan, who works in the building trade, and his wife Sue, who's in admin support, have been married over 30 years and have recently returned to the UK after almost a decade on the other side of the world. You know, it's sort of like living the dream, really, isn't it, to a lot of people? We lived in Brisbane for seven years, then we wanted to come home, didn't we? I did. I was homesick too much, and I had to come home. They've been back for nine months, and, along with their two cats, are currently sharing Sue's sister's one-bed place in Berkshire. She's been so good to us. We were so lucky that she let us have our house. And she was staying in her shed. She converted it into a little bedroom, bless her. What a saintly sister sleeping in the shed. But her house is a bit small for all of them. It's certainly a far cry from the setup they had in Australia. No swimming pool for a start. Downsizing's going to be difficult. We're not looking to try and find something that matches up to what we had, but something that similar. Ideally, the things I'd like to be looking for in a new house would be open plan, if possible, and a nice sized garden. The location's really important. Top for me is because of the cats, because I don't want them wandering off to a main road and being killed. Hard to argue with that one, Phil. Yes, but they viewed around 25 houses since returning to the UK without success. And with Sue's sister having just agreed to sell the house they're living in, this search needs to get serious. I mean, I, I really need Phil and Kirsty to help us. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> There never is. Over to you, Phil. So you've moved back from Australia nine months ago. The two of you and the cats are in the one bedroom yeah. house yes. and your sister's moved into the shed. Yeah, well, well she, she, sleeps, sleeps. she sleeps in, in the, the shed. shed. Bless her. I know. She's a very lovely sister. She's sisters. very, very, yeah. But meanwhile, you've been house hunting. Yes. Yeah. It's been hard slog. Because we're so pacific on location because of the, 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 the quiet location that we want and I'm wanting something that's got some sort of character. That's, yeah. that's the problem. So you want an older house in a quiet road? Which yeah, doesn't which is a seem bit of a oxymoron, to... isn't it? <laughs> I started looking at new because that's where the quiet locations are. Yes. But then it's the problem is small gardens. I want a nice garden. There's a lot of wants. There is a lot yeah, of there's... wants. <laughs> there's a lot of options to be ticked. <laughs> yes. We're not ticking many. Because that moment. word, I don't like it. You so, know what I mean? Don't I'm you? not going to say it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say Compromise, I don't. <laughs> you said <laughs> it. <laughs> Should we talk about it? Yeah. Now or in a couple of days' time? No, no. I mean, seriously, you, you've been out and you've seen a lot over a yeah. good period of yeah. time and you're now in some fairly desperate straits. Yes. The time, time is now is for so decisions. Yes. Couldn't yes. be more now. Well, look, let's, let's make a start. I think we should aim at an older house today and just see how we get on. Fantastic. Yep. Um, I will try and be as conscious as I can of the safety of the cats, <laughs> um, but at the same time, houses are on roads. Yeah. Right. Happy? Happy. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think you're taking this seriously enough, Phil. This pair might be hard to please. Yep, I've got a feeling I'll need all nine of my house hunter lives this week. There's lots on their list, and Sue's not keen on compromise. They've got £450,000, and their top priority is a quiet location. They're looking for at least three bedrooms. Plenty of storage for all their Aussie loot, currently in crates. And a good-sized garden is a must. 
Their inability to fulfill their exhaustive requirements means they've gradually extended their boundaries. So my massive search area takes in the western boundaries of Surrey and into the Hampshire towns of Long Sutton, Tadley and Oakley. I'm scouring scenic Hampshire too, as well as looking a bit further west in Wiltshire. I'm with retiree Jason and wife Sheila, who's semi-retired and works from home. They met and fell in love a little later in life. Two of our children were best friends at school and I had an old computer that I couldn't get to work and my son said, I'll ask the other boy's dad and he'll come and mend it, and he did. I'd fixed the computer and I said, where should we go for dinner? <laughs> and That's that was 20 odd years ago. It was. They met in Hampshire, but after retiring, were looking for somewhere new to set up home and made the bold decision to relocate almost 200 miles north. We were looking for somewhere to move to, and then all of a sudden, over dinner or something like that, Sheila said, let's move to Morecambe. And we went, and we didn't really realise we were leaving our family in the south, and so, you know, we hadn't thought that through properly, really. So they moved back south to be closer to their five kids and three grandchildren. They're staying in a small cottage owned by Jason's sister in Kent as a temporary base, but need to find something bigger and more permanent. And it's not just them and the dogs that need some space. I love to play the drums. It's great fun. You can just let yourself go. You couldn't play them if you had neighbours. You couldn't. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> They're drums, They're you drums. know? Yeah. So ideally, a detached house, if only for the sanity of the neighbours. When I'm told not to make any more noise, I can go and get the Moller Railway out and uh, I don't make any noise whatsoever. They've been looking for 10 months, but there haven't been any suitable houses going begging. The market has changed from um, being able to consider what you've just seen to making a decision on the spot. And the prices are going up all the time. I mean, I'm hoping that Kirsty will be able to sort of push us more and, and really, you know, make us make a decision. That's what I'm here for. Oh, so that's what you're here for. You're staying with family in Kent, coming up here to look for houses. Why hasn't it happened? It's all different these days. One house we, we saw on a Saturday and phoned up on a Sunday to say, yeah, we'll take that. And they said, oh, sorry, it went yesterday. To a certain extent, you've been unlucky. It's ridiculous, but you, you get the situation. Your budget is 310 mm. max, yes. max. What would you say is top of the list? It would certainly be that kitchen, talking to people, um, and the garden. Yeah. I don't want a courtyard garden. I do yeah. like what? my garden. Yeah. Green garden. Mm -hmm. Green garden. Green garden. So garden, mm. the dogs, and the downstairs space, yes. and then the drums. Yes. I'm concerned that I'll walk into the first house and say, I'll have it, because we're so, we what? so much want the house. I, I... But that's not a problem. You didn't think that about Jason. <laughs> you know, you didn't think, oh, he's nice, but maybe next week I'll meet someone better. <laughs> if it feels like the right one, it might be because it is the right one. Yes. So don't be afraid of that. Reminds me of when you and I first met. Yes, but there's never a week I hope for something better. For their maximum budget of £310,000, Sheila and Jason are after a sociable kitchen diner. They want a green garden, not a courtyard garden. Space for Jason's drums and trains is important. And good dog walks nearby is a must. So, two couples equally desperate to move soon. And two property finders who've got to make it happen. I've just had a very odd conversation with Sue and Alan. Okay. Sue said, I will not be using that C word. She meant compromise. She said, I will not say it. Oh, that's ridiculous. It is. Do they want a house They or desperately not? want a house. Well, really they can't desperately. be that desperate. So... Luckily, I have a very, very nice couple in Sheila and Jason. They are desperate. Mm. They've just been a bit outfoxed by the market okay. and they need a bit of hand-holding and they will be compromising and we will be finding a house. They'll be making decisions. And they'll be making decisions. Where the world? Well, let's hope so. I'm kicking off my search in Surrey with Alan and Sue, who are already sounding picky and are after a period house in a peaceful setting for £450,000. And I think I've found one. 
Uh, a little village called Hale, and as you can see, it's very peaceful, it's very quiet, and that's the house. Right. Okay. okay. Looks good so far. Yep. Let's look inside. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Perhaps we were wrong, Pip. They seem like perfect house hunters so far. Maybe. This is a three-bed detached house. Granted, it's smaller than the sprawling villa they had in Oz, but it does have the mix of modern and period that I hope will please them both. Upstairs, there's two large doubles, one with ensuite and a single bedroom. Downstairs, a sitting room and a dining room. A compact kitchen and a conservatory leading out to a lovely secluded garden. It's on at £419,950, so at 30 grand under budget, it leaves them scope should they wish to do any work. You've got really good entertaining space because um, it leads through into the living room. Both have got fireplaces, both quite well proportioned. I love the dining room. Yeah. That's, that's perfect because I've found dining everything yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. In there. They're already moving in, Phil. You're obviously going to have an easy week. So, stable door, a bit, bit more character for yeah. you. The, the kitchen, I think, is the weakest part of the house, but it could definitely be improved, opened up. It's too small. We have a big double fridge. OK, it's getting our head round downsizing. But you do know you're going to have to downsize. Yeah, we do know. It's how far downsize we want to go. Now you see what I'm up against, Kirsty. Nothing will compare to that mansion they had down under. It's still quite small, isn't it? We'll have a bit of trouble getting our bed in here. Well, I'm worried all that Australian living might have come to their head. They are accustomed to big space inside and out, which is going to be extraordinarily tough, if not impossible, in this part of England. It's a shame, because it's a nice location. Perfect. Yeah. Here, the cats are happy, the style of the house is good, the location's good, the character's good, the budget's good, but the rooms are just not big enough. I think this is going to get a bit harder than I thought. So how do we get on with the first one? Not big enough. Location's spot on, but the house is not quite. I'm feeling a little bit... Emotional. Emotional at the moment. Why? Um, because I feel like it's not a house out there for us. I think this, <laughs> I think, I think this confirms but... what we thought, that period properties a little bit small in size for us, yeah. maybe. Let's not be downhearted about it. I, I've only just started. Yeah. I have actually... Yeah. Just got one, have got, you? Just got one. Yeah. Just got one up his yeah. sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on. Okay. I've got an idea. I hope you have got one up your sleeve, Phil, cos you're going to need it. <laughs> this week, we're helping two couples in property purgatory. And they're looking to us to take them from house-hunting hell to home-buying bliss. It's bliss with you, Phil. Every moment is bliss. Just when the sun shines. I know, look, I've got my glasses on. on. I know. Yeah, Do I look cool? Coffee's good. Do I look cool? Coffee's good. Do I look cool? Coffee's still really nice. <laughs> it's certainly leaving a better taste in my mouth than the first viewing did. Alan and his wife Sue have moved back from Oz, but so far haven't got a home. What they do have are a lot of boxes to be ticked and the idea of downsizing to get their heads around. Not big enough. Location's spot on, but the house is not quite. Meanwhile, Sheila and Jason have moved nearly 300 miles to be closer to their family, but so far haven't found a house. We're starting off in a part of Wiltshire I know they haven't searched in before, and the lovely town of Luggershaw nuzzles into Salisbury Plain, so it's a perfect place for walking the dogs. They've got a very healthy £310,000 to spend, but even with that amount of cash, there's no guarantee they'll get everything they want. It's a very simple house, this. It only has the two compromises, which is the busy road and the smallish garden. So we need to see whether either of those are too much of a problem. Mm. OK. I don't think the road is. The road to isn't. Us? Yeah. No, so... but I'm already looking down there at the garden yes. fence. Yeah. It looks rather close. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Right, in we go. It is not the grass garden they're after, but the house itself certainly gives them all they want. It's detached across two floors with an awesome kitchen diner and a spacious sitting room downstairs. Then upstairs, there's three ample bedrooms, one with an ensuite bathroom and a family bathroom. Doors from both the sitting room and dining room lead out onto the garden. 
and there's a garage, so Jason can play his drums without annoying Sheila. It's 15 grand under budget at £295,000. What you've got here is your sort of kitchen... Oh, now kitchen this is garage. nice because it's wide. Yeah. So you don't have to, you know, come round the island. Right. And look at all these windows. Yes. yes. It's it's a lot of light coming in from it's all very A lot nice. of light. I knew they'd like the inside, but I'm not so sure about the garden. There we are. Let's address this issue, Sheila. Right. Let me see. Oh, right. It's not as bad as I thought. It, I suppose it's the it's the dogs and it's the dogs, yes, and yes. the feeling of space. Yes. But it's not a courtyard, is it? No, but it's not a general. But it's garden. not a garden. It has got the garage. So I can't think of anything to criticise. Give a man his man space, and he's happy. But I'm not sure if Sheila's just putting a brave face on the garden. Lots of wardrobes. windows, yeah. built-in wardrobes. I feel like a heel. Poor Sheila. But, you know, it's the right house in every respect except the garden. I'm happy. Are you happy? It's a garage, it's yours. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm doubly happy now. Doubly happy is great. I just hope that's not because he's trying to be happy for both of them. I'm thinking I could get used to that garden. But I need to think about it. Obviously I need, you do. Yeah. Sheila, at the not... moment I'm thinking, oh, just go on, I'd be all right. But, but I have to think... What I think it's nice to have is something which is a, a good benchmark. I'll see if it is. Exactly. So a less than green garden, but plenty of food for thought. After my first property in Surrey failed to win them over, I'm taking Sue and Alan across the border into Hampshire to the quiet and picturesque village of Long Sutton. It's a fine example of quintessential English beauty. Speaking of which... Kirsty's come to make sure that I'm doing, a, doing my job properly. So I'm, I'm hoping you'll give glowing reports, but I'm not convinced, <laughs> so I'm not going to ask. Phil says you're after birdsong and period charm. This is correct, yeah. And safety for the cats. Yes. Yes. So I think we should stand here while we see no cars pass down this road whatsoever. And listen to the birdsong. Yes. Bird and the birdsong. Yeah. And yeah. then turn and look at the roses climbing up the former oast kiln. And then go and see the estate agent and make an offer. <laughs> <laughs> Oast houses were originally built to dry hops for brewing, and this conversion should intoxicate them. It's a three bedroom set over three floors with the cottagey feel for Sue and the clean modern finish Alan likes. There's open plan cooking, dining, and living on the first floor. Downstairs to two beds and a bathroom, and a stunning master bedroom with vaulted ceiling on the top floor. It's a showstopper, and that's reflected in the price. It's right at the top of their budget, at £450,000. So what are you feeling standing here? There's no back garden, it's just a front garden, isn't mm. it? No, Looking this is it. it, this is this the garden. Is yeah. This is small. It this feels is... like it's a one-bedroom property, and you've got one door in, one door out. You're pretty sure now that that house isn't going to work for you? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah, yeah we, we can tell. Yeah, I don't, I don't, there's no point in flogging a dead horse. No. <laughs> um, we need to find you something where you have that reaction. I'll rephrase yeah. that. I need to find you something <laughs> where you have that reaction. <laughs> or at least something they're willing to go in and have a look at. I can't believe they're not even going in. Maybe I'll have to get my head round and getting out this period thing. Because what I don't think... I think if, if you can do that, then... Yeah. I think I've got something to work with. Okay. We have moved the search forward because we're going to turn to more modern homes okay. and lose a bit of character and, yep. and retain the sense of peacefulness, quiet, safety for the cats. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Great. Tomorrow's another yeah. day. Great. I can't believe the viewing's already over, Pip. Sad that you're leaving me so soon, Kirstels. At least now you see what I'm up against. Well, for Sheila and Jason, it's a different problem. They liked the first property, but the garden was a letdown. So that's what I'm looking to fix. Now we're a couple of miles southeast into Hampshire to the Saxon market town of Andover. It's not got the two compromises, which were the road and the garden. And there's okay. a dog walk opposite. And there's, and a, there's path, a dog yeah. walk opposite, that's lovely right. field. Yes, and, you know, yeah. So this is more the house that the dogs might pick. What's your feeling about the location? Very, very peaceful. Might like be just a little bit yes. too quiet. There's a nice blackbird over there, but <laughs> maybe we <laughs> yeah. could get a little bit lonely. Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah. 
I'm sure the street will be much livelier once your drums are out, Jason. The garden is Sheila's domain, and although this one needs sprucing up, it's bigger than at the first property. It's definitely big enough for the dogs. Oh, you yeah. put a gate in yeah, and yeah. there's nice, yeah. 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 There's lots of areas you could make into veggie areas and, yeah. and yep. some shrubs. A lot of potential. It is. Good first impression of the garden, better than property one, but will the inside put the place in the lead? It's a three-bed semi, with two decent double bedrooms and a single on the first floor. Downstairs, there's a good-sized living room at more than 150 square feet, and the kitchen and dining room are neutral and airy. There's also space that could be a utility room with outside access, so perfect for cleaning the dogs after a muddy walk. But the real bonus is the price. It's 25 grand under budget at 285,000 pounds, leaving cash for any work they'd want to do. My feeling is really that you want to sort of knock through here. What do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, no, that yes. would make a nice room. Yes, it, it would. would make nice, a nice square room. room. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got the added room there, which could be utility, dog cleaning room. There's a lot of space. There's, this it's is a, a big, big space. House. It's a big house. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A big house. They certainly like it, but I'm not sensing the enthusiasm they showed at Property One. Very comfortable. Yeah. No, this yeah. is nice, and it's got the two windows, which make it prettier. Mm. Any warmth building in you towards the house? It hasn't achieved the level of number one yet. I can see the potential. I can see its potential. It's not exciting me yet. Mm. I can see it's lovely. You can make that kitchen diner lovely. This is an ideal size. It's just very like... quiet. It's good to have a house mm. in the bag and know why we're discounting a second yes. one. This has been interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's, you know, we're learning all the time. <laughs> it's great to see that peace and quiet's something these rock and roll retirees don't want. Indeed, but hopefully I can find them a house that they do. This week, we're across three counties looking for homes for two couples who've struggled to get back on the property ladder. And if house hunting were a sport, Kirsty would be in the lead. Of course, but we're nowhere near the finish line yet, Phil. Although retirees Sheila and Jason, who moved to be closer to family, have come out of the blocks well, their garden is still the hurdle in Luggershaw. I don't know, you see, I need to think about it. But with Sue and Alan, who have recently moved back from Australia and have the pressure of impending homelessness, those hurdles seem that much taller. Straight away, it's negative on the garden. Too small, no back door. Their reactions are increasingly hard to predict. They've now decided that newer builds might be an option. So I'm taking them to the Hampshire town of Tadley, the population of which boomed from the 1950s onwards due to industrial expansion. So there's lots of newer housing stock in the area. I've kind of worked on decisions at the end of yesterday when you said, OK, let's move on from, from period and consider something a bit more modern. Yep. This is built in the uh, late 80s. OK. Um, Cul-de-sac setting. Yep. So it's kind of quiet, it's peaceful. The, the road is there. Straight away. Talk to me. No. Cats. That's too busy. Too busy, too, too close. close. The real gem about this house is actually at the back. Yeah, okay. but it's when they're at the front and they wander down there. Let's have a look anyway. Come okay. and see the back. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go down the back yeah, to okay. start with. All right. <clears throat> I knew the busy road would be a problem, but I think I've got it covered. Um, it opens out onto a golf course. There's woodland. So I kind of hope that there'll be plenty to entertain yeah. the cats out the back. Plenty. Yeah, definitely. I can still hear the traffic, though. Oh, that's... Uh, that's harsh. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, that's cutting me to the quick. <laughs> yeah, that I don't is. want you thinking that you've done it. <laughs> just but we go in. Let's go and have a look. I'll go and have a look. Yeah. Phew. You can't have another viewing where they don't go in. And that garden could be kitty cat heaven if Sue can get over the busy road. She's certainly got the claws out early, but this place should give them pause for thought. It's a four-bed detached house and it's half as big again as the other two I've shown them, so their size concerns are addressed. On the ground floor, there's separate kitchen, dining and living rooms and a massive conservatory, fulfilling their hunger for big rooms. Upstairs, the bathroom, four bedrooms and master with ensuite. 
asking price is right at the top of their budget, at just under 450,000, but that's a lot of house for the money. So in terms of entertaining space, it's all going on down the back of the property here. Yeah, that wall could come down, couldn't it? Make that big yeah. open kitchen. And... It doesn't view particularly well. It hasn't been tidied up, hasn't been cleaned up. It's not difficult. It, we're talking about cosmetic work until you start opening up kitchen. We'd have to do the work before we moved in. We couldn't live mm. in it without having dust for every five minutes, would we? <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look at some? Yeah, yeah. let's see some more. At least Alan's keen to give this place a proper going over. Sue, why don't you have a look upstairs? I'll okay. show Alan Hi. the kitchen. The kind of the theme continues. There's great space through there, yeah. but it needs Not a new noisy. kitchen. Yeah. I can see what you're saying about the potential in this place. Yeah, definitely. You just have to get it at the right price. Or I'd have to get it for you, you at the right price. <laughs> Alan, with his experience in construction, should see the potential here. But it's not Alan I'm worried about. Student digs, that's what it reminds me of. It needs cool. to be about 400,000 for this one to work. to me. I'm a bit confused here, because they can both see the potential of the house, and Sue's not fussed about the lack of character, and yet I'm not sensing we're anywhere near the finishing line yet. A bit of a problem on my hands. And not long to get it sorted, they need to realise that all your boxes can't be ticked. If it was done up, is it the kind of place that you could imagine yourselves living? Yeah, I'd say so. No, not for me. I think it's the look of it and the when it was built. And yet we've got so many other things that are right. I know. See, that compromise word again, isn't it? Oh, she did say it. She did, didn't she? She did. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Choke myself. That's not going to get you a house. I know. I'm not saying this is the perfect house no. for yeah. you, but something has to change. Something's got to give. It really does. You can't continue saying, I don't I, know, I, I want, I, I need, I must. Yeah, but I don't know how to, cos I can't untick any of the boxes. They can't seem to get what they want for £450,000, but we're searching in some of the most expensive parts in England. If they pushed further west and north into Herefordshire, they could double the square footage for their money. If they fancied living in the suburbs of Edinburgh, they could get five bedrooms and an extra 800 square feet or so. But if they were searching in parts of central London, even their budget would only stretch to a one-bed flat or a studio. Not enough room to swing a cat, if you even allowed them in the building. With Sheila and Jason, Although it had its flaws, there's no doubt Property One is in the lead. It's just down to whether Sheila can deal with the garden. We're now in the village of Kingsclear, close to the area of countryside which inspired the book Watership Down, and I bought my own bright eyes along for our final property. What do we feel about Kingsclear? When we were looking originally in Basingstoke and thought it was a little bit too pricey, Kingsclear was our next choice. Jason, what do you make of the look of the house? The house is uh, very tidy, um, nice front garden, useful footpath, yeah. dog walks. Yeah. Now that's a positive first impression. Well, there are plenty of positives here and not just in the location. This three bed semi has excellent living space on the ground floor with the kitchen opening through to a dining sitting room. It's a kind of open plan living thereafter. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms as well as a separate toilet and bathroom. It's got the garage Jason's after for his trains and drums, and this one arguably has the nicest garden, which should please Sheila. It's priced at £312,000, although it's expected to sell for around three ten, which is bang on their top budget. So this is the lounge, and then the kitchen's through there, but okay. you see, with the side access. Yeah. Yeah. So it is smaller than house number one, but... Ta da I know. It's a nice garden. It's a nice mm. garden. Mm. Yep. You're not even you're not even here, are you? No. You're, you're just being polite. <laughs> you see, looking out there, that's not a huge garden. No, still. It's, you're expecting it, to be more blown away by the garden. I thought it maybe be another twenty foot when you said big garden. I couldn't put vegetables in there no. either. No. We've come in, and I've immediately thought, well, the sitting area here is big enough that you could have a, a wall across here and make this into a kitchen yeah, diner. Yeah. But I'm still thinking. <laughs> Well, you could. Well, no, keep that's it up for mine. Kitchen diner in that place was absolutely spectacular. Well, what do you know? Seems like overnight, Property One has gone from maybe to must-have. So many people say to us they want to have, they buy the house that gives them the feeling. 
And you may have had it. This is a yes. great house. Yeah. The That's thing is, Jason, mm. I'm not going to allow Phil Spencer just to swan in here and swan out again. Mm. Go and have yes. a look at the garage just in case. <laughs> go, on. Yeah. Go, go on. Go on, Jason. Go on. I promise I will. Open minds. I like it. Although they now seem hooked on property one. This is a great house in one of their favourite villages, and the garage should provide some positives too. The garage is fine. Um, it doesn't have a pitch roof for storage like I was really impressed with at Lugger's Hall. Could it work for the trains? I don't know how condensation is in a garage of this type with a corrugated roof. Again, Lugger's Hall garage. That's the edge. Hmm. It all points in one direction. Very, very pretty. Lovely picture window. I like that window yeah. looking onto the garden. Is is lovely. But you are heading back to Luggershall in your I, mind, aren't you? Yes. You're, you're almost like... Well, yes. The difference in size and plot. Yes. The other house suited us so much more. So this place definitely has not overtaken property one for Sheila or Jason. So it's a no. It's a no. Well, we mustn't be disappointed because you've already seen something that you quite like. Yes. This is a smart character here, isn't it? Yes. Better dressed than Kirsty is some of these days. <laughs> Washed his hair as well. You really want to have a chat about hair? Nice house. Very nice house. But not house. for you. I'm afraid not. No. Oh, no need to be afraid. We, we, no. we know where but we're Kirstie's heading. Kirsty's done her job well already. I always do my job well, thank you, Phil. And life's about balance. So as my search is going so swimmingly... Mine isn't, thanks, Kirsty. Sue and Alan can't seem to see the wood for the trees. It's last chance saloon, and we're in the village of Oakley in Hampshire. It's steeped in history, but working to our new plan, I'm showing them something of a slightly newer vintage. Well, this is my last throw of the dice. Am I feeling lucky or unlucky? I don't know. I'm a bit worried about it. I'm a bit worried about how to be honest. Afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? Issues of last house were a bit worried about the road and definitely worried about the level of work. So that, that, that's the reason I chose this. The quietest road in terms of traffic and the house, it, you're not going to need to lift a finger. It's very high spec, very nicely done. Okay. I'm looking forward to showing you. Mm. Come on. This last property should tick as many of Sue and Alan's ever changing boxes as I think is possible. It's a three bed bungalow. It's got two generous doubles, as well as a master with ensuite. The whole place is kitted out beautifully, so no need to spend money on updating. And there's a huge living room linking through to the kitchen diner, which flows out through the bifolds onto an immaculate south facing garden. All this comes at a premium, though. It's right at the top of their budget of £450,000. It's been opened up quite successfully, I think. And I, when I came in here, I thought it's slightly Australian. Sat, yeah. Way yeah, of life. it's got that sort of feel to it, hasn't it? Top end of budget. But I think you can see what you're getting here. Yeah, yeah there's a big difference, isn't yeah. there? It's very similar to what we would have. Yeah, We would have. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. nice, nice kitchen. It's nice kitchen. I sense there's a bit of reservation, although you're being positive. Yeah. No, no. I think it's the. Uh... It's the location again. Most of my friends live over Ascot Way and that, and I'm just thinking, if I want to just go over for a beer, it's going to take me nearly an hour, maybe, just to drive over. But you said it was all about the house. Yeah. And you were spreading your search across four yeah. counties. Yeah, this, this county's gone too far in. For we you. keep moving those boxes, don't we? I'm glad no, you this, said that. No, this, this, <laughs> this is a great house. It's the best one we've seen. Um, obviously, we haven't seen upstairs yet. I've seen this one, though. <laughs> Oh, for <laughs> <laughs> Easily done. No doubt they like this place. Their issue is prioritising their priorities. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. As a house, you seem quite happy with it. Yeah. It's, it's a nice house, contemporary and clean, how we like it. Do you appreciate that if this was back in Berkshire, closer to all the amenities and Alan's friends and all the things you're trying to be close to, it would be out of budget? Maybe we have to... What, the size of the house? Yeah, to be closer to it. But then you're, then you're going to lose the room know, dimensions and you won't fit your furniture. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's one thing knowing, it's another thing to act on that knowledge. With no more houses to view and the one they're living in sold, you'd think Sue would be willing to compromise, 
just a wee bit. Nice. Really nice liked house. It. Bad location. It seems Friends. hard enough to start with. I don't know, we've just added an extra box. Yeah. Do, Being near friends. Did you not hear us say that one? I'm here to help, but I can only do so oh, much. Yeah. No, I just don't know where to, how to, to cope with these boxes that I keep producing. Well, tell us when you worked it out. Yeah, okay. Let, <laughs> I'll give you a call. Let's <laughs> not, actually. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Seems Phil's on the back foot in this boxing match. I might be down, but I'm not out yet. In Surrey, Hampshire and Wiltshire, Phil and I are having very different house hunts, trying to find perfect properties for two couples. Kirsty's couple seem to be in clover. The search is going really well. Whereas mine, they're in cloud cuckoo land, and I don't really know what to do about it. I'm quickly running out of options and patience. Sue's sister's been sleeping in her shed so that they can have a place to live. But with her house now under offer, they need to hustle or be homeless. We're back in Surrey for a final property. Here in Ash, we're closer to Alan's social circle, so that box has been ticked, along with every other box that's sprung up along the surface. Morning, you two. Morning. Morning. Today's the day for decisions. We've got to move things forward. You've got to move. Could this be the Could one? Could be the one. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> It's last, last chance saloon for me. This period detached house has four double bedrooms, three on the first floor, along with a family bathroom. Downstairs, it's been substantially extended, so now has another double bedroom, a huge lounge, a dining room, a family room, and plenty of storage. Out the back, there's an enclosed garden for the cats. So if they can find a box I haven't ticked here, then I really do give up. Fulfilling all their shifting criteria means it's once again at the top of their budget, 450 grand. It's quite a skinny living room to start with. It gets better and better okay. the further back you go. Kitchen, nice and tidy, clean, wouldn't need to spend any money. But this, I think, is where it gets really interesting out the back. So we're into an extension, and you've got another two reception rooms here. Mm. I think if you open that wall up, mm through into the skinny living room. To make it bigger, yeah. You've then got some really lovely yeah. space. open. What's going through yeah. your mind? Definitely needs to open up, because that room is quite... That room quite, is quite yeah. narrow, isn't it? Oh, we haven't seen it all. Mm -hmm. There's still another one for who here. It's not a bad size, is it? No. no. It was the garage, or part of it was, and that leads back through to a bit more storage. Oh, OK. So you haven't... So you haven't got a garage, really? Okay. No. That could be a problem. Could be a problem. Not having a garage. Storage for just storage um, for okay. he's got a lot of tools from, from work. That's yeah. Is this a new box? Yeah, no, no, it's that just one. that's why we was ideally with a garage, yeah. really, okay. just for storage of everything. So it's quite pretty. It's not overlooked at all. No, not no. at all. Would the cats be happy? Yes, yeah. definitely. definitely. Yeah, it's mm. nice and quiet. Would you be happy? Um. um Mm. A little bit small, maybe. Yeah. Um, I, thought it was a bit, I thought it was that bit. I thought, yeah, I thought there was something that went behind. Yeah. I thought it was, there was a little garden. secret gate. <laughs> 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 no. You two, no, sorry. No? No? Oh. Um, room for a shed. Yeah. For your tools. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. It's, it's not bad. It's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not it's, small, it's, but it's yeah, not. It's, it's usable. We haven't finished. Okay. okay. Come on. I fear they might have Pip, unless upstairs brings some real positivity. Oh, it's a small staircase. Ooh, you can get much up here, would you? God, that's steep. I know, OK. Well, that's not bad size. Well, Sue and Alan are upstairs, probably trying to think of new and inventive reasons not to buy it, or thinking up fresh boxes to tick or something like that. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit low, isn't it? I wouldn't be able to wash my hair, would I? This is a great house. It really is. It would suit them very, very well but I don't think they're going to buy it. Come on, Phil, one last rally. Let's just concentrate our minds on the fact of where we are, close to your friends, yep. good transport, it's quiet, it's peaceful, mm. it's characterful, the cats will be safe, and we're in budget. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot to there think is, about here. There is, but it still doesn't have that feeling. I don't walk in and think, oh, I'm at home. <laughs> Oh, and there it is. We've found the only box that matters. The X Factor box that no one can predict. 
Go and um, have a drink and have a bit of a think about okay. what okay. we're going to do. Okay. I think we're a bit of a yes. stalemate. <laughs> Checkmate more like, and you're being pulled around like a pawn. Thankfully, my king and queen are poised to go for their castle. I don't think anyone's in any doubt about which house we're here to talk about. It's Luggershaw all the way. It is. Yes. It's just lovely. It's just lovely, and um, you're not the only ones that think so. Ooh. There are currently two offers on the table, all but right. you are the only person that might be interested in that property to be chain free. Mm -hmm. So, are you happy with the asking price of 295 of that house? The short answer has to be yes. Listen, I'm a great one for putting in offers, but mm. I just don't think there's any point. It's just not worth it. Mm. We don't want to chance losing it, do we? we nope. We've not seen a house that we like so much that feels so right for us. Right. Would you like me to go ahead and make an offer? Yes. I certainly would. Right, okie doke. Claire, it's Kirsty. I have got an offer from my client. We are making a an offer at the full 295,000. Right. Oh, I don't know what she's saying. They would like as soon as possible. It's just that they they are literally living out of boxes. So if your client's prepared to take it off the market for 295000 and issue a contract as soon as possible, that would be wonderful news. Thank you. OK, bye. She sounded very positive about that. <laughs> I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. The direct approach seems to work. You should try it with Alan and Sue. OK, I will. So, Alan, Sue, which one are you going to buy? <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we, we can joke, and we have had a nice uh, time together uh, yeah. this week, but um, it's, it's vital that you move the search on. Yeah, well, we maybe can start looking at a new build, purely to get oh, the yeah. open plan living that we're used to, isn't it? And sparkliness. And the sparkliness. That I thought I didn't want, and obviously she... I do. <laughs> So why didn't you find that out at the beginning of the yeah. week? We'd have been better off. <laughs> Emotionally, yeah. mentally, I think you'll find it easier walking around somewhere that's brand new, sleek, clean yeah. lines. It's what we've lived in for the last so many years, and I think well, even... Well, 30 yes... years of our married life, really, we've been in new houses. <laughs> so, um, have we had a wild goose chase? No. No. Because I think we've got a clearer idea now what we want, haven't we? Well, or you what know we what don't you... want. No. Or what we don't want, yeah. Or what Sue wants. Yeah, that's so, more like it. The more, <laughs> we've crossed, crossed off some of Sue's boxes she wants ticking, <laughs> shall we say. Yeah. Um, and I think we've moved it forward, so... Well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to pull it off for you, but... Yeah. Um, oh, it's been Thank great. Hopefully been you're on the great. right track. Thanks great. for trying. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, they're a great couple, and I'm sure they'll find a unique house in their own unique way. With Sheila and Jason, Kirsty's waiting to hear if their asking price offer of 295 grand has been accepted. And she's not letting bad mobile reception get in the way. Oh, there's a call coming in. Oh. I hope nobody actually wants to book a table. Hello. I am now running the pub and I am answering the phone in the pub. <laughs> I talk about making yourself at home. You're quite right, Claire. I, I made myself at home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kirsty, but it's not you who needs to be feeling at home. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is amazing. That's fantastic news, Claire. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. That's it. Go to the house. Yeah. More than happy to off? accept your offer. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. It's off the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank More you. than happy. Hey. So Thank much. you. Woo. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations. New house, thank you. Yes. Here's to nice house hunters. <laughs> Hi. 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 Six weeks on, Hi. Sheila and Jason are fast approaching move-in day. When we knew we'd got it, we were delighted. Well, I can't wait. I can't. I wake up and think, oh, I'm excited today. And they're already planning to rope their sons into lending a helping hand with the house's only sticking point. The first thing we will do is get a couple of sons down and sort out the garden so that we can just throw the doors open in from the kitchen down and the dogs can come in and out, you know, which will be super. 
with the dogs as happy as Larry and safe in the knowledge their family are close by. Sheila and Jason couldn't be happier. Oh, well, I'm particularly looking forward to having big lunches and having them all get together, because not just for us, it's for them to be together, to have our extended family to all be able to get together. And there are no regrets about going for the first house I showed them. I've always been determined never to fall for this 11-second you know, rule, whatever they call it now, where you, you go in a house and think, that's it. But that was it. That was it for me. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. When you know, you know, Kirsty.